folks, I'm kind of starting out here in front. This is my current bush. And if you can see, I got a whole bunch of berries getting ready here. Nice red ones here. Coming. And of course, you can see that I have this thing covered with netting. Because all of the catbirds just love my berries. And I'll take a gander over here so you can see what a nice job Jerry did on uh, doing all of our... This is a gooseberry that's loaded with berries and it doesn't seem the catbirds bother these too much. As you can see it's also loaded. towards our rock garden and our pond and stuff. And I'll just take a, take a gander here because there's fences on everything. As you can see, where we're watering. Moss roses and others. I'm going to turn this off and start again here shortly. Okay, folks, this is my Landinis out in front. These are all going to be real burgundy color and if you can't see them real good it's because I got fence around everything because I'm not letting the deer eat anything but you can see here that they're gonna open up anytime soon and then my bleeding hearts back there if you can see that still got some blooms on it and all my landinis and I get around here on the end and around the corner to show you that all of the lilies to open up and I'll walk along here a little bit so you can get them a little better sorry this is jiggly but they're just starting to open up and they're so pretty I have a bunch of different colors of them in here and it's all fenced here because of the deer of course and a day lily and the peaches and cream or cream or something I can't remember now and then of course the lily. and I got like 40 feet of these lilies all the way up here they're all going to open up here shortly and I got one lily that I gotta move right here because he's right in the middle of my big hosta. You can see all that. <coughs> and then some more of the other color that are just opening up. And of course, my Columbine. He's still blooming. He's so pretty. And I'm sorry it's so windy if this is all blurry. Okay, this is my little piece of rock, whatever, and these are my other purple flowers that I have no clue what they are. But they come back every year and they're really pretty. And they're inside my little uh, ring here. See, I have a bunch of rock grass in there. I've got to get rid of that. Okay, Jerry says I should grab these finches that are on our feeders here, if you can see them. They're all flying around. I got little yellow finches everywhere. And if I pan back over this way, this is where all my grapes are in the grape arbor. In sanctuary. And if I can get in here close enough to show you these valiant grapes. Have to put berries on them. See them there? They're just hanging in big clumps. I don't want to get in there and try and get them. Over in that area, right about there is where I found that bone. And then down farther, that little bush.
garden's next. Okay, folks, I walked down here to the garden, and I think I have a neighbor that wanted some dill. You want some dill? I think I have some dill for you, and some wild onions. So I'll take a gander down here, because I have carrots. With dill. With dill, of course. <laughs> And beets. Good deal on the end. And let me turn this off and get in the gate. You want Indian We corn. have some Indian corn. Jerry says because I wanted Indian corn. I don't recall saying that, but that's all right. Am I going too fast? I suppose. My beans are starting to climb, as you can see here, all the way across. Let me get down here. And my other... The peppers did get at once. So, I got peppers. And they will produce, but it's going to take a little bit. And there's more here. And here. And there. And there. And there. And you guys will all be so proud of me. I didn't plant 28,000 tomatoes this year. I do have some. One get one. And I got some bigger ones. That are finally growing. And here comes my husband around. Oops, I got one that fell over. He's got to fix it. Fix it up nice and pretty. Give a wave, honey, to all the nice people out there. Jerry Bill. <laughs> Don't be laughing now. <laughs> All right. And then the rest of our meters. Seems like I have a lot more meters here than I bought. I think somebody snuck some in on me. This is volunteer. Oh, he says this one here is a volunteer. Oh, isn't that special? I know what that one is. And then we got our squashes. And tell me this is zucchini. Zucchini there and uh, uh, buttercup squash, bush buttercup squash down there. On the end down there. That's what I'm looking at now. Alrighty. And then the rest of this all down here is cucumbers cucumbers and squash on the very end. And, and pumpkins or squash? Squash. Squash on the very end. There should be no pumpkins in here. No pumpkins. Ha ha ha. So, alrighty folks, that's all for today. Now you got to see, and I'll show ya. you. You can hear the traffic going by. You want your skinny? I got one bloom down here in the zucchini. I see him. He's coming. Jerry's going to show me. He is... Good one this side. Over on this side. Oh, gee whiz. I've already got this way long. It's going to take me forever to load this up. Right in there. They've got a couple of them here. There's our little zucchinis. Alrighty. I said, lock your cars, folks, because we're going to have a ton of them. And then looking back up towards the other end of the day. Okay, folks, bye. And just a quick gander coming back up towards the house from the garden. You can see what we get to see. And as I'm walking and doing this, everything is going to be really shaky, so... Sorry about that, folks. That's where the irises are.